Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with an awesome new knife comparison video for you. In front of us are the two Grimsmo knives, the Norseman and the Rask. Uh, as many of you may have seen on my channel recently, I featured a few videos uh, with the Norseman. I wanted to say thanks to my buddy Nico at Today's Grail Tomorrow's Beater for allowing me to borrow this for so long. Uh, but then my good buddy Josh, who goes by Echo Does Knives on Instagram and YouTube, sent me his personal Grimsmo Knives Rask. Uh, this is a very, very special knife that I will dedicate a, uh, an entirely separate knife consult video to. But uh, it is a spectacular example of the Rask, which is their second model and the smaller, more EDC-friendly version of their Norseman. It's supposed to have all of the sort of tolerances and smoothness of the Norseman, but in a smaller, more edc size package. And indeed, it is. As you can see, the Norseman is quite a bit larger. We're going to go ahead and bust out the ruler over here, and I'll get some raw numbers. The uh, actual overall size on the Norseman here is coming in at 8.75 inches, whereas here on the Rask, we're looking at about 8.1 inches. So uh, it's it's a quite a bit smaller right there. The overall blade length uh, on the Norseman here is coming in at about 3.8 inches, maybe 3.75 and a hair, something like that. So a rather large blade right there. And on the Rask, we're coming in at exactly a three and a half inch blade. So smaller overall dimensions and everything like that. The handle here on the Rask is exactly four and a half inches and the handle on the Norseman is just a tick under five inches so uh, you're you're losing quite a bit of length there and it's nice but it's not uh, it, this is certainly not a mini knife this uh, this rask right here I'll go ahead and bring out another couple of knives for a size comparison here is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and a Para 3. So you can see the Para 3 is really in that smaller EDC size category. The Rask remains a full-size knife. Uh, I'll bring out a couple of other knives right now. I've got a uh, Zero Tolerance 0609, which you can see is smaller than both of these knives. Uh, I have, ooh, let's see, how about a Koenig Arius? Another three and a half inch bladed knife right there. Uh, so you can see the uh, the Rask is an interesting size where it has a nice large blade but a slim handle. Uh, speaking of slim, uh, let's go ahead and get the calipers, which are all the way over there for some reason, uh, and bring them out here. The handle width on the Rask is going to be 10 millimeters, so exactly one centimeter. Uh, right here, you're looking at a three millimeter blade. I don't know why it's converted here. Let's look at this in inches like we always do. So you're looking at about 125 thousandths on the blade stock and about 0.4 inches in terms of the width on this one. I want to say that these dimensions are going to be relatively similar. Yeah, about 0.4 inches right there and 125 thousandths on the blade stock. So the thickness overall uh, is going to be the same. And that's a unique feature to these Grimsmo knives. They are quite thin in the pocket. Now the overall height is going to be somewhat different on these two knives, so I'll go ahead and bring this out. The height on the Rask, you're looking at 1.13 inches. And on the Norseman, you're looking at 1.29 inches, so a bit taller. As a matter of fact, if you go to the tallest point, which is at this peak, you're looking at almost 1.5 inches in overall width there on the Norseman. So uh, some more important features to compare here. We're going to look at the weights of these two guys. Uh, the Norseman here is coming in at uh, lofty 4.98 ounces. So as close as makes no difference, 5 ounces on there. And this is 3.17, so it's almost 2 ounces lighter. And we're going to see why here in just a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and break these knives down anatomically to compare them. First, we can start out with the blades. Both are sporting RWL 34 blades. The Grimsmo's really only work in damascus steel and RWL, and that's totally fine. They do a good job of it. Clearly, the Norseman is a very stylized blade. This is something that is not going to be useful for everybody's everyday carry needs. Uh, it's certainly not going to be a good food prep, food prep knife, but it may be a good utility knife because of the blade shape. If you have some sort of need to do draw cuts all day or some sort of chiseling with the, uh, the flat part there at the tip, 
uh, perhaps this could be for you. Otherwise, it's really just more of a funny looking thing. There is a, uh, a certain body part that many people continue to compare this to, and I will uh, keep my mouth shut on that one. But uh, this knife, certainly the Rask comes in with a certainly more functional blade. This is a beautiful drop point blade on this knife and it is really, really nicely done. Another thing that they've done is actually to get rid of the mill lines that you saw on the Norseman. So they CNC machine the blades out of the steel, and on the Norseman, they originally left the lines for uh, style points and for functional reasons, saying that you know it keeps things from sticking to the blade, which may be true. Uh, they use it in some kitchen knives. Uh, but the Rask, they uh, they get rid of those lines. They they're still present on the blanks, but then they get rid of it in the sort of uh, final processing of it. This one is done in like a mirror stone wash that's absolutely out of control. I will say that the uh, detent and the action are pretty much exactly the same. If the Rask had a big heavy blade like the Norseman, it would fall shut in the same way. But what this allows, this action is so much. This is so much more strongly preferred by me. Uh, this action here that uh, I'm just I'm really impressed by this. It's smooth, but it's not so fast that it bounces out of its detent. It bounces off of the uh, stop pin. I just wish that that didn't happen on the Norseman, but this is perfectly dialed in. This is where that action really comes into its own, where you have a nicely sized, thin bladed knife here that uh, that just falls shut under its own weight, but in a controlled and smooth fashion. It's very very nice. Something else that I really like about the Rask is sort of the, the continuation of the tolerances here. You can see how the blades kind of wrap around the handles there. You can see the definition of the uh, pivots here. You can see that the pivot on the Norseman is sort of an oblong shape, uh, but on the uh, Rask it's actually a perfect circle. That's an interesting uh, feature there to me. I have not disassembled the Rask. I may end up doing that. Uh, here on this side of the knife you can see uh, that they have the same pivot screws. Clearly the same machines have been used to create these things. You can see this awesome mill pattern here on the Rask. Uh, this cool sort of dragon scale look. It continues onto the clip. Uh, this honeycomb pattern here is only present on one side on the Norseman. Something that I found very interesting on these two knives is that the Norseman has some internal milling, but only in the sense that there are like words and a, a, a design on the inside of the scales. The Rask is actually significantly milled internally. Let's see if I can get the light in there. Maybe you can see it on the, on the screen here. I'm not seeing it well on my camera, but uh, there's a significant amount of internal milling going on there, and it's, uh, it lightens this knife even more. Uh, I'm not sure if they've done that on any of the Norsemans, but I'm, I'm sure that would actually help a lot to keep the weight down from five ounces. If you could shave that down to even four and a half, it would be noticeable. Um, so I think that these two knives, uh, you can't really say one is better than the other. That was never the pur purpose of this video. This was really just to show the size differences, the weight differences, and the sort of action differences of the two models offered by the Grimsmo brothers. Um, to be perfectly honest, I was blown away by how nice this Rask is. I thought it was going to be smaller. I thought it was going to be a little bit less nice in the hand. But uh, as soon as I got this in hand, I finally understood what the Grimsmo philosophy is all about. I will say that the Norseman has sort of run its course in my mind, but the Rask really picks up where this left off and carries it into a new generation. I really want to see the Grimsmo brothers make some new models. I'm sure that they will over the course of their lives. Uh, but I'm looking forward now to whatever their next model will be. I've heard rumors of integrals and certain types of flippers. I'm not sure what's true, but certainly uh, I understand the philosophy now. Uh, my feelings towards both of these knives uh, remain the same. As, well, with regards to the Norseman, it remains the same. But I'm blown away by how special this Rask is. And uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity to handle both of these knives at the same time and bring this to you on video. Tell me what you guys think of these two knives down below. Which one would you choose if you had to choose between one of these two knives? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, go ahead and click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Head over to Instagram and follow me there at Dr. Frunky. Go over and check out the Grimsmo Brothers Instagrams uh, and their website for more information. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.